We are pleased to be joined by Dr. Sidney Whitman, president of Dental Lifeline Network, New Jersey Board. Good to see you, Dr. Whitman. My pleasure. Doctor, we did, we've done a fair amount of work around oral health. And people say, oh, you do a lot of stuff on oral health. But oral health is clearly connected to our overall health. Help people, help people understand that. Well, what happens is the, the, the mouth is the gateway to the rest of your body. If you're, if you're not healthy orally, you're not healthy with the rest of your body. There's certain uh, relationships between cardiovascular disease, diabetes, uh, things like that. So if people who uh, have good oral health are more likely, there's, there's a better correlation between your cardiac health and you do better if you have diabetes and things like that. It's because they're all inflammatory processes. So Dr. Whitman, the impact of COVID on our overall oral health. A, is it fair to say that, that too many of us put it to the side because of COVID? There's so many other, we can't do oral health, but A, that, is that true? And B, what are the implications of that? Well, it's very true. They put it to the side and then as a result, pro little problems became big problems. Also as a result, when the dental offices were closed for a period of about 10 weeks, there became a backlog of, of patients. And with that, with homeschooling and things like that, that had to, uh, you know, remote learning, uh, many staff had to stay home once the offices opened. And therefore, the offices were not and still are not staffed at the, to the same level they were staffed previously, pre-COVID. And that, that has com combined with some other things to uh, really exacerbate some deficiencies in our health system. Dr. Whitman, donated dental services for New Jersey and Connecticut. What is it? Because, uh, and I've read about it, it's very important, particularly for people with disabilities and the elderly. But, but be more specific, and we'll put up a website so people can find out more. Go ahead. Uh, dental Lifeline Network provides comprehensive care for people who are medically uh, compromised, fragile. Uh, not permanent disabilities, not able to get the care that they need through the ordinary systems that are available. And it works quite well. In New Jersey, we've been in it since its inception, since approximately 1988. We Believe it or not, we've done more than $26 million worth of free dental care over 9,000 patients. And it's, it's, the dental, it's all volunteer. It's free. Where does the money come from, Dr. Whitman? Uh, Delta Dental has been a significant partner with us. The state of New Jersey has contributed a significant amount of funds. And the, uh, the various dental agencies have contributed funds towards this. I mean, we've actually asked the dental societies in New Jersey Dental to pitch in some money so we can keep this program alive. And they've all willingly done it. So we, we have they a have? lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, remind people, Dr. Whitman, who exactly is being helped by this? Medically fragile people, people with compre that need comprehensive care, elderly people, uh, people who are with permanent disabilities. And, you know, you think of it mostly as older people, but I'm a pediatric dentist. That's my background. And I see, I've seen children through this program that have severe disabilities that somehow have fallen through the cracks and they couldn't get the help. So it's, it's in many instances, it's life-saving. I mean, I'm involved with patients that needed heart surgery, but in order to get the heart surgery, uh, they had to be cleared dentally and have their any dental infections taken care of before you can have heart surgery, you know. And so it's it's a it's a very worthwhile program, and it it's just wonderful. We have over six hundred volunteer dentists in New Jersey they, who actually see patients. Absolutely well, put volunteer. Up, put up a website. I'm sorry for interrupting, Dr. Whitman. If someone who is is a dentist or or knows of a dentist who they think uh, can be helpful, we'll put up a website. What do they do? They just volunteer and then people in their community go to them. They go to the people. How does that work? Well, we have, a, 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 for want of a better term, a clearinghouse. We have two people just about full time who they apply for the, pro the, the pe potential patients apply for the program. And these dental coordinators uh, find a dentist in their area that can treat them, that has the ability to treat them, and they make the necessary referrals. And then they find the dental lab. That's if, if, if it requires a dental laboratory for prosthetic work, uh, they find the lab that's willing to provide that care for free. 
We have over 100 labs in New Jersey and a few that are outside of New Jersey that actually provide that care. And the dentist, and we're still, listen, we get over 300 applications a year from, from potential uh, clients for this program. So there's a, there's a, there is a waiting list uh, because it takes a while to coordinate everything, sure. but, but we're, we're, we're doing a pretty good job. I will say that. And this is a national organization. We're the, the New Jersey component. Before I let you go, doctor, uh, and you're reminding me every time I do a, a program on or a segment on oral health, it reminds me that I'm scheduled for a checkup and a <laughs> cleaning, right? It, it does. It really does. But to that end, people's fear not all of us, some of us, many of us have a fear of dentist, of going to the dentist. How are we doing on that? We're doing I know I only have about 30 seconds left, but okay. how are we doing on that? Uh, okay, we're doing better than we were. I, I will tell you that certainly COVID put some fear in people, but we know that, that those fear, you're safer in a dental office than you are out in the public for all practical purposes. We have a better record in the dental offices than you do in your supermarket. But uh, we start, as a pediatric dentist, we start our patients no later than age one. And we, we take that fear away from them. That's what it is. We do prevention and, and programming in such a way that it makes it fun to go to the dentist. There he is. He's Dr. Sidney Whitman, president of, of Dental Lifeline Network, New Jersey Board. Good to see you, Dr. Whitman. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thanks. You got it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Think Tank with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by Delta Dental of New Jersey, the Turrell Fund, supporting reimagined child care, RWJ Barnabas Health, the Northward Center, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, Choose New Jersey, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey. Community Food Bank of New Jersey, and by Prudential Financial. Promotional support provided by CIANJ and Commerce Magazine, and by NJ.com. New Jersey's early educators and child care providers are more than twice as likely to live below the poverty line versus the general workforce. Reimagine Child Care, formed by a coalition in New Jersey, is dedicated to improving accessibility, affordability, and quality of childcare and reimagining the way we support these essential providers. Learn more by visiting reimaginechildcare.org.